Considering how the internet has almost revolutionised retailing and with it most other forms of commerce, what then is the future for the internet and how businesses and retailers should use it? Well, it's quite interesting because going back to those early predictions, we talked about the high street being under threat. And I think there is evidence to say, yes, actually, in its present form, it is under threat. We are seeing many companies reduce their presence on the high street and offering what they call multi-channel retailing. And what that means is that wherever the customer wants to buy, then the retailer has to enable that. So what that means in reality is... A high street presence, an online presence, a mobile presence, if it's relevant, a social media presence, so that wherever the customer touches the business, they can communicate. So that means for the high street, we are likely to see more shrinkage, less stores in the long term. We do have new forms of retailers actually coming in. We've seen and we talk about Amazon, but they're not the only one. There are many young entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs indeed of all ages who are spotting opportunities online. Jamie Murray-Wells, who set up Glasses Direct, spotted an opportunity in the ophthalmic value chain to deliver, as the brand name says, Glasses Direct, without the clinical side of the business, and he's developed a very, very successful and growing online business. The internet, social media and mobile are now coming together to create a radical new marketplace which is full of opportunities. Considering how the internet and social media is transforming the supply chain and how we engage and buy products, what advice would you give to a traditional organisation, one which has like a building traded for, say, 100 years, in how it should use the internet to maintain and grow in the near future? The first and most important thing to do is to think about why. Establish clarity of purpose. What is it that the company is trying to do online? The opportunities are to develop a communication dialogue, to sell online, to offer a whole platform of interactive services, to then integrate the technology across the whole of the business. In the first place, the business must be clear about what it's trying to achieve. It must then also understand the marketplace that it wishes to go into. For example, like Marmite, they understood that it was a great way to communicate with a very specialist niche target audience. And by doing that, they could have this great dialogue with these members of the target audience. So you need to have that detailed, perhaps even more so than in our classic marketing teaching, to really know what kind of experiences have your target audiences had and what are they looking for. The next thing to think about is the relative advantage that can be garnered from using the technology. There's no point in using technology for technology's sake. Yes, the internet is all the buzz, social media is all the buzz, but just remember, we are human beings. We do still enjoy speaking to one another face-to-face. So, what's the relative advantage of using the technology? Now, take eBay, for example eBay lets hundreds of millions of people sell things to one another and it fuels the collectors, the retailers and everyone's trading. But that's because they've spotted an opportunity, they understand the market and they're using the technology, the auction mechanism, to let people trade and barter. Another thing that's so important is to have realisable goals. The thing is that we all look at the internet through a small screen, so it actually almost implies a level playing field. But just remember that Tesco's spends hundreds of thousands of pounds in making its business work, and £500 on a poster website will not deliver the experience that Tesco's does. So it is about setting realisable goals and then an effective implementation And that means establishing all of these things that I've just said, plus being able to deliver on what it is you're promising. So Boo.com, for example, a classic textbook case of a business failure, set out to open a global business in 18 countries simultaneously 
with limited knowledge of the technology, limited knowledge of the products that they were selling, and very quickly the business collapsed. So, just to summarise, clarity of purpose, understand the market, establish the relative advantage of using the technology, set realisable goals, and make sure you put together an effective implementation. Fiona, that's been fascinating, and I'd like to thank you for coming in today and sharing us your thoughts about the future of the internet and how it affects retailers and businesses. My pleasure, Andrew. The Open University. For more information, go to www.open.edu forward slash iTunes U.